will be considering a bill that would allow motorcycle riders to not wear a helmet. Many organizations have spoken out against the bill, saying it will cause injuries and fatalities to go up. Channel East Mackenzie Johnson looked into it today and has more on our top story. Mackenzie? A Highway Safety Coalition is set to testify in opposition of a bill that would allow anyone over the age of 21 to take off their helmets when riding a motorcycle. All of Nebraska's surrounding states have similar laws which allow riders over a set age limit to make the choice of when to wear a helmet. If this bill passes LB91, it will actually be one of the most restrictive helmet laws in the United States still. So 21 years, most states are 19 years and older. And I don't think any of them required to take a safety training class in order to remove your helmet. Senator Hansen's bill would require all motorcycle riders to wear eye protection or have a windshield on the front of their motorcycle. If they take a safety training course, anyone 21 or older can remove their helmet. Right now, Nebraska has a law requiring all riders to wear a helmet at all times. Opponents of the bill say it should stay that way. We want people to be safe on the roads, and helmets is, is a sure way to decrease the numbers of brain injuries and fatalities on the road and to keep drivers safe. Hansen says helmets do help, but they want to give riders the freedom to make their own choice since it wouldn't affect other drivers. There's a lot of things in life that can injure us. It depends on your philosophy on how much the government should protect us, right? And I think this is just an individual liberty and a choice for you to, to wear a helmet or not wear a helmet. Instead, Hansen says the safety training would be beneficial to the drivers. Shields will protect other drivers on the road by keeping bugs and other debris from possibly causing them to endanger others on the road. Typically, when you get above 35 miles an hour, the helmet doesn't do as much for you as you think it would. And really, what we see most motorcycle injuries coming from are other drivers running into the motorcyclist. Ortner, who is part of the Highway Safety Coalition, says helmets can save families from dealing with severe injury and death of a loved one. You know, in motorcycle helmets, when you look at numbers, it reduces head injury by 69 percent and lowers the risk of death by 42 percent. Um, you know, saving one life seems to be an easy equation to make it all worth it. The bill will be going to a committee hearing tomorrow where both sides are ready to give their opinions. We'll keep you updated on its progress on our website, klkntv.com.